What is going on, boys and girls of YouTube? We got some spice hitting you today with this pick. We got ADC today. Yes, sir. I've done a lot of ADC videos right lately, but I haven't done one thing that has actually been consistent fun in the ADC role. That's Bologna as an ADC because of how strong warriors are for the first 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes of the game you kind of get just free w key onto their adc if you play the early game right we'll see how it goes see how the matchups go see what they got i'm about to have some fun with this show you guys how to build show you guys how to play it if you guys want to kind of cheese some adc wins if maybe you're not comfortable with it if you're a warrior main or you're more of a jungler and bologna fits your play style better this will be a perfect option for you but that being said please make sure you hit the like button if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed to the channel it literally takes no effort at all the bare minimum now let's get to this video so i'm gonna warn you guys right off the rip like literally right off the rip my thought this game last game i tried recording when poseidon mid 1 and 15 and wouldn't respond wouldn't listen to vgs nothing so i have pretty much negative expectations from him this game and we're gonna need to boop really hard in our lane one upside to the whole thing is our kill potential is pretty freaking high just really 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 high what's our dude starting with uh he went meditation all right well we're gonna play the safe lane instead of going horrific or something i was hoping he would go horrific or even i don't know he's playing geb but yeah horrific or even into a frenzy would have been a lot better let's get it gabarino we can do this buddy whoa what multi potions that's different especially when you have a meditation for mana hmm. see how it plays out i got i got no expectations let me tell you that that's gonna die we're gonna two the purple buff to make sure it dies very quickly and then we will move on to the wave which r2 should probably be back up by then or just about back up once the waves meet and stuff gets going only problem with playing Bologna is walking up to this first wave is kind of risky we want to try to not get knocked back or stunned by Fenner. Oh, we'll take this though. Okay, we got the full wave control. It's fine with me. I am going to take my one here to do my best at any trading I have to do. With the on her, it's going to be a little bit harder now, but still going to be able to trade fairly easily. Oh, he's still tanking that. I want to play for the wave here. I want to be on this wave the second it meets every time. He poked me pretty a lot there though. Didn't go for any clear. He's also going a weird build, so we got that on our on our side. All right. Oh, he's just dead. Kill, kill. Please, Geb. 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 Thank you, Geb. Nice job. You could have definitely been a little more proactive there, but I'm not mad. It's all right. I'll take it. We're gonna try to clear the next wave before Fender gets here. Fen super committed there, which is good for us. We really want to just get Berserker Shield online early here. And even Aussie have a little bit of sustain. Can you let the waves back off? I, I'm not walking up to this guy. I don't have any health bots left. Alright. So we're gonna go for the neutral camp here, and then we're gonna back. Right, we got that. Yeah, we're out of here. Don't you worry. Yes, I do need some healing pallets. Just stinks. I couldn't get enough gold for this because he got the la the, first, the kill. He had the last hit, which is not what I was hoping for. I wanted the last hit that would allow me to get tier two crusher, and then I just would have stomped my way through the lane. Honestly, Fenrir had a Bumba's what? He was even he was way squishier than he even should have been. That's crazy. Okay, I'm just playing too passive here with this lane. Really don't pick a geb support if your dude is running something like this like the whole point of running almost cheese like roll gods and rolls is usually for the early kills and if you aren't going to be a major factor in those early kills you're trolling you're just ruining the game for your boy and we're gonna have four here so that's good there oh say their honor's gonna be four ahead of me because he got a wave i didn't get my geb's also four already there's fender oh my gosh is that a fender we just don't want to get poked here. Dude can poke all day. Once we get into the actual fights and level fives, it's going to be rough for him. Come on, Geb. I shouldn't be beating you over to all this. Your support is your job. And we really just don't care about anything here. 
he's just not tanky. There's no reason this Fender should be doing what he's doing. He's trying to be a second jungler, but he's not doing any jungling. <laughs> Which is making it really awkward for him. I'm gonna get a ward up here for the jungler. He should just leave off the tower line. It's just too risky. We'll poke at him. That's good. That's really overall the goal. Clear the wave while also poking is gonna be optimal. And then we're just gonna chill. I'm, um, I don't really want to fight this. If he goes off that tower, I might try to kill him. We just need to get enough mana back to do so. And I know my dude's meditation is up now. Yeah, we definitely can kill him here. If we hit the stun, he dies, but he should play it smart. And hold his ult for when I do that or just leap out. He's so scared out of health potions. He's really not sustaining enough. And we get the free Jimmy online, which is going to be nice. Let him have that. We're just going to keep farming. Go into life seal, So we're full sustained as much as possible. With the mannequins, you just kind of burn and shred through everything. Then we got purples coming up. I don't know. That might have been their jungler. I think I just saw their jungler. Oh, no, it's thinner. I thought I saw their jungler going into the jungle. We're going to clear the wave and go for the purple. This way we aren't stuck in a limbo of trying to out clear them. What is that? Desync on that auto. Ooh. Ugh. We hit very hard and we have Crusher. We need to clear one more wave to get the Crusher, but we have the Crusher online. And that's the dude who feeds. Oh, he's not feeding yet. That's good. Gank, gank, gank. Wave is really pushed up. It looks like Honor might have missed three or four creeps. Maybe even five. He might have missed. Yeah, I think he did miss five creeps. That's crazy. I'm going to play back here. Yeah, there's Fenrir. I was going to say, I thought I heard his two. We'll make sure we don't miss that XP. And I want him to push the wave up. We don't really want to fight. We have 2,000 gold. You can never be fighting when you're waiting on a major item. And the Honor, does he got his item yet? Yeah, he has his, his item. So we really don't want to fight unless he does some super dumb stuff. And he's just giving up wave. So that's good. And we're going to back right in his face. Kind of ego him a little bit. Alright, not really sure what's going on here. Okay. Alright, that's that's fine. I don't know why the <laughs> the vendor has a blink. <laughs> I'm gonna upgrade my beads. They're probably gonna come for me again. So I'm gonna try to get a ward out to see it coming and just play super far back. If I had my item there, Crusher, I turn and fight that 1v2. But there's just no value in fighting it 1v2 without the major item that I'm sitting on. He's also going full damage on Fenrir, so he's super killable. You have to pay attention to builds, and you know how you can react to things. If it's a Fenrir trying to do major damage, we make sure we break his three, his brutalized by ulting. And then we any auto attacks, we disarm or one them, and we just kind of trade with them. And if we cannot get have our two stunned out, we're just in a great spot. We're just going to bully this guy. Like, literally just bully this guy. <laughs> He's, whoa! What in the world? No. Why? Oh. What is he doing? I don't know what's happening right now. I'm a little scared. I think purple's up. <laughs> He's a help mid. Yeah, purple's up. Stop helping me on purple. Roll the mid. We want to get this ward out too. Get a ward here. I probably could go help them, but it's a little late now. Yeah, a little late now. Unfortunate. Unfortunate for the boys. Our purple's up too. We just, anytime we get this honor, if he walks into me, we're just going to trade with him. We're going to save our dash though. We're gonna, he's going to try to stun us. We juke that. I will dash at him. If he jumps over the wall, we're just going to dunk him. Yeah. Pretty free. He, there's nothing he can do if we get on top of him and he misses this too. If he hits this too, we definitely don't kill him like that. But if he's missing it, I don't know what this guy's doing. Face me, coward. <sighs> I don't know what he's doing, but I'm going to try to kill him with my Thoth. This is really risky because I'm banking on the Thoth being here. He's just dead. Nice job. Thoth actually came over. Respectable. That Fender is just doing the dumbest stuff I've ever seen in my life. 
absolutely stupid. Uh, we have enough for our... Yes, we do. All right. We're going to clear this and I'm back. And now we're going to have our beads up. And... If I wanted to, I would have farmed one more wave and gotten upgraded beads. But I think right now, having health potions and wards is going to be more valuable. But just notice how easy this is. Your average ADC player is very uncomfortable with the role. They think I hold left click and I, I do my job. It's not that easy. When you learn how to play something that can be in the ADC's face and counter them when in their face, they freak out. The honor turned and ran away, right? You can't turn and run away. If you're at ADC and you're turning and running away, you're instantly telling me you have no clue how to play ADC. He's trying to hold the wave now. I don't care about him holding the wave. With Berserker Shield, I'm going to be able to dive if I want to. He's not even holding it. It's just sitting here. He's just going to run. There's no shot he ever fights me now. And I'm just going to zone him. Zoning is just denying creeps, which is a really major thing in other MOBAs. For some reason in Smite, people just don't do it that often. It's super strange. It's almost like looked down upon. I don't know why. It's very strange. This purple's back up. I'm going to power farm and go to that purple. Looks like Vamana's rotating. And it's pretty free. We'll just go into his jungle. I think Vamana might come over here, but our beads are back up. So if he does, it is what it is. Observation is the key to victory. Just free. Honor can't do anything about this. He can't even clear the wave yet. So he's screwed. We just half health him. We do we do nothing but one auto three and he's half HP. Maybe not quite half. We'll, we're gonna exaggerate a little bit, but yeah, he's basically at half. We're just going to beat the wave down. Dead. That simple. Honor doesn't have a far enough leap. Some gods, like, I think, like, isn't Ami and some other gods probably could get the distance and not die to that. But then I would just one them anyway. They would have to land their one ability to get me off of them. I could always pre-beads it, too. So he's screwed. He's going to have a bad time if they play this out. I have a feeling they'll surrender because he's probably crying and asking for help. And they're raging at the fender for going stupid build. I'm sorry. I would too. I mean, the defender should be reported. He's roll avoiding hard. Very, very hard. Uh, might be able to get this tower for free too. Oh, it's back up in 30. I have a full berserker shield we're sitting on. It's going to be a fat back if they don't surrender. Now we'll start looking to rotate. Oh, I missed. Oops. Oh, it's purple. Little Naga guys are up. We'll drop these. Optimal farm. This will set us up for almost a full Jimmy, I think, too. We got that one. We'll go ahead and grab this one. And then we'll get ours. And if my team gets the ones on the left, it should be pretty easy for them to get a hold of the Jimmy. If you're controlling the Jimmy, which is the scepter. You guys hear me say that? It's the scepter. Okay? It's the obelisk that turns into the scepter that you carry around. It gives you gold. If you get it, if you're the ones who secure the full tower, you get extra gold and XP for the whole team. Whoever is getting that in a game usually is getting it the whole game and they're almost always winning the game. I have, I don't think I've ever seen somebody who is farmed and consistently gotten that Jimmy lose a match yet. Not once. No reason to Not a single it. time. Which is kind of ridiculous to think about because most players don't even know what it is. They, they don't even know it exists. They, there's something on the map. That's all they know. That's the problem right now with uh, a major problem with the meta as well. Because if you're just, you know, ignorant to the game and don't take the time to figure it out, you're losing and you don't know why. Not a lot of fun. Not a lot of fun at all. I think he's doing his purple. So he's finally getting a hold of his purple. I have a four level lead. And we should be able to W key him. Their jungler hasn't come over here once. Very rare for me to not have their jungler just live in my lane. Yep. It is purple. He's playing up. That was a good play. Oh, I didn't get a range. I think we still kill him though. Yep. <laughs> he played that kind of the best he could. Probably should have lived if he, if he had his pillar and used everything better. Uh, but we still get the kill. Every mana is kind of farming though. He's almost the same level as me. How many kills does he have? He's four and three? Not doing that good. I don't want to push into this tower too much. It's not going to be a free. It, it'll be a free tower, but it would take forever. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to start trying to rotate to help with this Vamana and other lanes and even grab farm. Like if this, I'm, I can just kill this Fender if I want to in mid lane. The Atlas is a beef. What does that even mean? Oh, 
Yeah, I'd run too. Dual lane doesn't matter anymore. Okay. Ultimate is down. Good. I have upgraded beads, so this that literally means nothing. <laughs> like, uh, great, my beads are down for, you know, no time at all. Good luck. Okay. We're going to go into a Shogun's if that becomes a problem, but I think for now we'll go into Serrated and just keep winning the trades. We're gigantic. Honor can have his free wave for 10 seconds. Doesn't make a difference. Nice job on the pyro. He didn't take our purple. He's going for the neutral farm. I don't care about that neutral farm right now. We want to go with the wave after this. And we might, if we had mana, I could probably bait him into fighting and win right now. Really, really easily, actually. All right. I call it he's missing. He's doing his purple again. And well, okay. This dude is stupid. Absolutely stupid, dude. Stop trying to trade with me. You're not gonna win. You think people would learn after the first you know, five, six deaths, but no. Let's take it another time. Why? Why? Oh, why? People just are uh, also don't respect Berserker Shield being so overpowered. He went Glad Shield instead of Berserker Shield. Berserker Shield would have been a thousand times more relevant for him here. Team out of position and no Ankh yet. And he opted to not even go for an Ankh on Geb, so he's kind of trolling. Big misplay, in my opinion. Go gank. If he gets there. Just kill that. Yeah, kill this guy. Nice. Alright, we should do gold. Gold is absolutely free. Merlin's one of the worst objective stealing and securing gods in the game from the mage point of like perspective. So not a lot to worry about. Maybe Fender ends in and steals it. That I can see happening. Be super RNG, but I can see that happening. But if you're the Geb here, if there is ever a mana in the game, build an Ankh. If you're a solo or a support, you need to build Ankh against the mana. It fully counters the mana. The mana just takes extra damage instead of being super tanky and unkillable. He is free kills and just falls over. So uh, I probably would have ulted that if I didn't get body blocked. I don't like being this deep. Oh shoot, look at that. Enemies in left lane. I want him to go on me. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, Merlin tried to full commit. I'm too big, dude. You can't contest these warriors in the early game. It's not possible. Even with a lead at this point, it's still early game for everyone else but me. We're going to back here. I don't want to take too much farm away from the jungler. Plus, we have a full serrated. We have a full serrated and a counter ward. So if we want to go for a fire or wait for someone to gank or something, we got it. Oh, that's three Fender ults. I baited him so hard there, too. I knew me walking near the towers, he's going to full commit. He's going to be too tempted based on the ways I'm playing the whole match. No, our beads are up, and it's just free. Upgraded beads early this game. Kind of god tier. The fact that nobody's gotten the Jimmy and my Geb hasn't taken the time to go pick it up hurts my soul, too. Pick it up. That's so much gold just sitting there on the map that nobody's getting. Even the enemy team. Like, why is nobody getting it? Please. Please, please, please. All right, where's Honor at in his build? I don't know. Is this a new build that someone's trying? Because I've seen this build a couple times lately, and it's been dog shit every time. It's actually just gotten farmed. So his Fenner ult should be up right now. What the hell? So we're just going to buy ourselves some time here. And he's dead. We're going to run away because the Merlin's hitting us over the wall. We're just going to disengage. Oh, he tried. That's probably a surrender coming through, especially with the taunt. The honor gets killed here by the Nev. He just tried to up down. He should die. He should actually be dead already. I'm going to go into an Aussie now. We're going to an Aussie, and then we'll finish the build with either Oboe or Kins. The Kins will be better than anything else. Even a Toxic Blade would be kind of nuts to counter the Vamana if he's sitting in his ult trying to trade with us because he is super squishy. He's going crit now, too. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. One e this looks like my last game. My last game, uh, I mean, they were inting harder than this Fender was. 
I had an ADC who was six levels down and then we killed the Apollo. The ADC farmed for four minutes, got three levels and then died instantly as soon as Apollo spawned and he was back to being six levels down again. It was pain. Didn't have to be the Fender ult. So we're gonna go help the boys. He's good. All right, well, that's cool. <laughs> oh, it's just that easy sometimes, boys. Aussie would be nice right now. I'll be able to sustain a little bit. A little bit more. I'm going to burn through everything. I'll help them on Pyro in a second. Just sustaining with our three. Get the gold. I'm coming, boys. Hold on. Oh, you need me. You need me, dudes. This isn't going to give us the Jimmy yet. If, I, if the Thor gets that camp, then we get Jimmy online. I might go pick it up. Ooh, this is one time I am going to farm this out. I'm very close to upgraded mannequins and I want it. I want it real bad. My team can W key that all day. I just want to get this upgraded mannequins back and go to right. We won't get the Aussie we were talking about, but we get the mannequins. We're out level 20. How have they not surrendered this yet? Goodness gracious. Uh, I like the fire call, but it's also... Not that good with you all at half health. I have to go help them because if they die and lose fire, we might actually lose the match and then I'll cry. That's one thing with the mid to late game of smite. It's never over until you're actually, you know, three phoenixes are dead. Because one mistake just turns into kills. Wait, they gave up the fire? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That's too bad. <laughs> they couldn't four man the fire. <laughs> and then I get the <laughs> I've never seen that happen before, dude. I get to walk in and finish it. Me and Thor are the only ones with fire now. That's funny. Yeah, Thor bailed on them and I don't know why. Really weird play for him. No Alright. Oh, we're gonna do this? I kill fast, dude. I do not care about your ult. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> No, I'm, so, I'm so confused. His honor cannot hit a two to save his life. You just hit him with a hot sidestep. You start strafing this way, and then you go back real quick, and he throws it every time. Yeah, I'll do gold. I had a fire giant. I'm huge. That upgraded mannequins did work, by the way. Did 500 to the Atlas. It was pumping. All right. No shot, dude. Uh, Thor wall was something. I'm gonna back and act like it never happened. We can't help you. If, I'm surprised he's getting caught by Avamana though. It's a little questionable. Yes. Gotta play around those walls, brother. Right back. Jimmy getting them kills. We want to get the full Aussie online right now. So we're gonna clear this wave them back. Get him, Jimmy. Nice, dude. Let's also get wards. They call for us attack right. We'll grab another ward and we're out. We are huge. I'm 11 and 0. This on her is worthless to this team. He's building crit as well. If I go a spectral right here, it'll full count. Oh, wait. Did Vamana change his build? No, yeah. It'll counter Vamana. And assuming this honor's an idiot with the way he's been playing, he's going to go more crit. He'll either go Aussie here like... Like a weirdo, or maybe he'll go Kings and then he'll go Deathbringer at the end. Or Atalanta's. I see that a lot. Atalanta's is being super overrated. Goodness, that attack speed is beautiful. No, no, no. You're not killing my power away, buddy. Come on and hit me. Oh, nice. Drop it. On my way. I just don't care. I'm just going to kill him. <laughs> I'm just going to kill him whenever I can now. It doesn't matter. We want to get back to our fat wave. I might... Creeps regening off the Jimmy? 
Do they get HP 5 off of this? It looks like they do. Yo, I know you don't think I care about this. You now witness true control. They are very scared, nice. Shield from Geb. I just, I just don't know what's happening anymore. Let's just tower off. We stole the fat creep wave, so we need to go right. Come on. It's a fat wave, boys. Come on, come on, come on. Nice job, Thor. They're just taking it, dude. That of Amana really wanted to kill me. I feel bad for him. It wasn't even close. That was a good wall. Alright. Look at his end. Let's end the game, guys. <laughs> How did my thoughts not hit that all? It looked like it landed right on him. That was wild. Oh my gosh. Bologna and Warriors in the soul lane as ADCs, man. It's got to make the enemy ADC not, like, just not enjoy the match. It has to. You, There isn't much you could do. He's got to keep a max distance and try to AFK farm. And once I can start running at them, especially if I have an aggressive support, he's just screwed. You just zone him off the wave. I did 27,000 damage. Their honor did 7,000 damage. This is also, this is a guy last game who, another, him and the Thoth both, both were, this is the guy who was six levels down last match. So in two games, I think he's died 25 times. <laughs> GG's. That's funny. So a way for you to gimmick your way to the ADC role if you get stuck in it and you just really suck at ADCs and you're a you know you're an assassin or warrior main. Bologna plays very similar to a lot of assassins. Very, very similar. You can get used to it super easily. Play some Bologna. Just do that. Honor is one of the more aggressive that should be able to trade with me, and I'm able to just, you know, smack or smack him around. Even if you're not able to get the kills, you, I would have had farm control. I would have killed every camp. I would have had all the side camps. I would have been able to rotate to mid whenever I wanted to. I could even go proxy, clear the wave between the towers. There's nothing you can do about it. Hope you guys liked the video. Please hit the like button. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't, there is another channel, the Weekend VODs channel. We pull the best matches from stream. Put them on that channel. That is my other channel. Tally Ho pretty much just runs it all for me. Keeps it all up to date. So that gameplay is there daily. There's one match a day for you to go watch. That is the best match. So if you miss a stream or, you know, you're looking for certain types of gameplay, there's a ton there. Ton, ton, ton of gameplay there. Check it out. That's in the description of this video. And I will see you on the video tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the next day.